real doctor wants to write you a prescription to get closer with nature. This is Melissa Lem, and she is a physician in Vancouver, British Columbia. She has helped reverse serious ailments in her patients like depression and anxiety after giving them a script for this. Who is this family doctor? How do her patients react to this unusual prescription? And why is she leading a whole group of like-minded physicians to help preserve the healing environment? Melissa was born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada's biggest city. In Toronto, skyscrapers line the streets and trees are few and far between. Melissa's family would plan camping trips from time to time to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. And this is where she found her love for the great outdoors. Being somewhere where it was so quiet, so beautiful, and where you really felt small, but part of something bigger was, I think, the turning point for me. In university, she took every chance she could to get closer to nature. Elective courses about nature, internships in nature, med school placements in rural areas surrounded by, you guessed it, nature. Even after becoming a successful licensed doctor in Toronto, she longed for more nature. In downtown Toronto, there were streetcars, traffic, tons of noise. I found that I was way more stressed, and I really think it came down to the effect of being in an urban setting versus in nature. Melissa had a hunch that she wasn't the only one who felt this way. So she started to research. I started reading about it, I started learning more. And so what I found is there was a really significant body of evidence um, behind the health benefits of nature. And then one day, she found a patient who she knew would benefit from some more nature. He was a, a young student at the University of Toronto who had actually moved from Vancouver um, there and had ADHD. And he was talking about how it was more difficult for him to manage his symptoms. And thinking about my own experience, I said to him, there's a really significant evidence base behind the health benefits of nature. I actually thought that he was either going to laugh at me or look at me funny because I've never recommended this to anyone before. But he actually nodded his head and he said, yes, you're absolutely right. I, I, one thing that I have been missing since I moved from Vancouver is the nature time. After a few weeks of commitment, she saw significant improvement in their mental health. So Melissa began prescribing it to more and more patients. Spending just 15 minutes in nature can significantly drop your cortisol levels. It can reduce your stress, reduce your depression and anxiety, and increase your sense of well-being. Melissa started telling other doctors about her research and evidence. Those doctors told more doctors. She even went to the BC Parks Foundation to make an official wellness movement, the first nature prescription program in Canada. Through her work, Melissa realized that connection between nature and humankind is so much more important than we have ever known. Now, Melissa is the elected president of CAPE, the Canadian Association of Physicians for the Environment. She's become a media superstar and has given presentations around the globe, has interviewed major climate celebrities, and of course, she has written hundreds of prescriptions to get closer to nature. I think it just makes me think that all those late nights, you know, all that time in school, all that time walking out in nature, feeling stressed, and then, and then feeling the benefits to myself is worth it. Um, it's worth it. Her Park Prescriptions program is now in every province in the country, and it's even recognized by the Canadian Medical Association. 
I think just having a kid and feeling so protective as a mother that I need to secure his right to a healthy future is what made me start moving more into um, climate change advocacy. She's made it her new mission to help protect our climate. When people are more connected to nature, they're more likely to protect it. Not just conservation, but also saving energy, also advocating to government, you know, for more green policies. This is my life's work. Like, my mission is to connect people to nature and also spread the idea that it's good for the planet as well. I mean, I can see myself being 70 years old and still talking about this. And to think Melissa was once just a young girl who loved to play in the outdoors. Dr. Melissa says that humans and nature are so closely connected and that we have to do our part to take care of each other. If you don't know what your part is, she has some very fitting advice. Spend some time in, in a park, spend some time in the forest, get your inspiration, then come back inside and, and put it in action.